I was a raging monster on the pitch. It was like my superpower to just go out and hit people. Seven's life. Lesson of the day. Whoa, a lesson of the day? Where have you been? Well, this is kind of more of a Seven's Life story of the day. I would like to share, uh, as concise as I possibly can, the story about how I came to Seven's, left Seven's, and then started Rugby Seven's Magazine. You know, I understand that everybody may not have um, agreements with me on the path that I've been on, or um, you know the same beliefs as me, but I'm going to share it anyway, and hopefully we can just agree to disagree, and both agree that Sevens is amazing, and we could just stick with that. I grew up a very angry person. Uh, my father left when I was a very young boy, and I think ever since that occurred, uh, through the journeys of life, it's been ups and downs, rejection, confusion, how do I get along with people, uh, rage, anger, addictions, drugs, alcohol, like went through all those different peaks and valleys. But when I went to college in my first year, I was introduced to rugby. And I really had no interest in learning the game so much. I mainly just wanted to go out and hit somebody. I mean, I was a raging monster on the pitch. It was like my superpower to just go out and hit people left and right, becoming numb from everywhere down and just in a complete blackout, I'm just gonna hit everybody the whole game. And it was like a release, you know, it was a release for me. I'm sure I'm not by myself in this. A lot of people that play rugby have a lot of anger and rage problems. And it is, it's like therapeutic in a way. So I played rugby for two years in New York and then I played about seven years in Texas. Played 15s here and there, but my most joy was found on the sevens pitch. Anytime summer would roll around, I was just so excited to play sevens. Uh, at one point in time, we had a team called the Scorpions and we went out, I started this team called the Scorpions and we went out and we played you know, various tournaments in the Tola series and it was a lot of fun. Very unorganized, mainly because of me, but it was a lot of fun. And you could ask anyone that I played with back in that day, it was like, Dustin, just shut up. Like, dude, like, cause I was just so mad out there. So anger, yell at the refs, yell at players, yell at other players, bloody nose, shoving grass up my nose and like just going back out there to play. Like there was just such rage that was coming out of me on the pitch, but it was therapeutic. But then I gave my life to Jesus and the amount of joy that overwhelmed me in this moment and the releasing of all that anger, all that rage, all that confusion and like rejection and don't know where I'm going type feelings was gone. There was a brief stint where I stepped away from rugby and just focused on my relationship with the Lord. But then that itch came back and I went out to play some rugby. But here's the thing, when I went out to play, it was like my superpower was gone. I went out there and it's like, I realized that all the anger and rage and passion that I played the game with was like sucked away from me. And it was like kind of hard to play. I was like soft out there. That definitely really discouraged me, but I still had a lot of peace and joy with where I was at because of my walk with the Lord. So I just continued to do that uh, for years until 2016 came around and the Olympics were coming up and Rugby Sevens was in the Olympics and it was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? How do I find out more about Rugby Sevens of just the national teams and like what's going on with Rugby Sevens in the whole entire world? I wanna know more about this because the Olympics are coming up. So I started like researching around and Google this and Google that and trying to find something about Rugby Sevens and I really couldn't find anything. And then the light bulb went off. Oh my gosh, I should start like a Rugby Sevens page and we should talk about Rugby Sevens and I should go out to like find Rugby Sevens and video Rugby Sevens, but I don't know how to video camera. I don't even have a video camera. I guess I'll borrow my friends. And then the journey just went from there and here we are 
it'll be four years in July. And I'm excited to do more global type thing. If you've been following the page over the last maybe year, you have seen that we've tried to turn more towards a global approach than just USA. Obviously, that's not the easiest thing to do because I am from America. I live in New York and I can't just drive over to New Zealand or Australia or Fiji and capture the action. So you see a lot of film uh, that is on the page right now that is not shot from us. It's just from other uh, video broadcast companies and I'm so grateful that they haven't like pulled some of these videos down so many of them have been so gracious allowing me to put these videos up uh, to showcase some of the talent that's over there in other countries seriously such a blessing I'm so happy that we're able to do that anyhow that's kind of where I'm at right now with rugby sevens magazine still have this global mindset doing a lot of infrastructure things behind the scenes that you guys aren't seeing uh, that I'm trying to put in place so that we can start to showcase more from like our point of view uh, in different countries and beyond and we want to do bigger things like you know, for one, we want to put together like a Rugby Sevens magazine team that could go to an invitational tournament, uh, whether it's high school, college level or, uh, you know, elite type tournaments. We would like to do that. We want to put on a Rugby Sevens uh, showcase like a tournament in a way. And the bigger, bigger down the road type of dreams are to do a Rugby Sevens league one day. So uh, that's where we're at. What happened in the middle and where we are now. And it's a great passion and joy of mine uh, to continue on with Rugby Sevens. Thank you guys for following the page uh, and have a great day. Sevens Life, down to the last second.